Take a good look at this woman. If you were waiting outside the phone booth, would you be able to tell what she does for a living? Is she a gossip columnist? A designer of women's hats? A babysitter? What would you say if she turned to you and asked, What's my line? From CBS Studio 51, Jules Montagnier Incorporated, makers of Stop It Spray Deodorant. The deodorant in the amazing squeezable bottle, the deodorant that changed the nation's habits, brings you television's sensational new game, What's My Line? <laughs> and now let's meet our lineup of well known personalities whose lines you probably already know. First, the brightest of the Broadway scribes, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And on my left, my favorite poet, anthologist, and scholar, Mr. Louis Untermeyer. And here is that dynamic star of stage and screen, Arlene Francis. And on my left, one of the best writers of comedy for radio and television, Hal Block. Thank you. And on my left is one of the great news commentators, analyst, alexicographer, choreographer, <laughs> biographer, and a stenographer, Mr. John <laughs> Daly. <laughs> Things. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first in the new series of What's My Line, presented by Stop S. Tonight, you will see people from many varied and perhaps unexpected occupations, all of them here to baffle our panel of experts to the happy end that they can carry home some prize money. We'll also have a famous guest challenger before our panel a little bit later in the show, but now to start things rolling, it's time for the experts to meet our first challenger whose job they will have to spot. So will you sign in, please, sir? Arthur... Arthur Eldridge. Well, nice to see you, Mr. Eldridge. Uh, you know, you well, I live in Elgin, Illinois, sir. Elgin, Illinois? Yes, sir. Well, you've come a long way, and knowing what I know about you, I don't think you'd be frightened of this collection of panelists we have over here, but uh, at this point, we always let the panel have a closer look at you, so if you would walk over there in any reasonable demands they make while you meet them, will you please? Uh, Mr. Elgin, uh, would you face the audience for me a minute? And would you, uh, would you flex the muscle of your right arm? Let me see. Are you flexing it? Yes. <laughs> Not very flexible. Thank you very much. <laughs> My, yes, I, I would like to see... Would you open your coat slightly and... Yes, sir. Uh, yes. May I see the... Yes, sir. Stein? Uh, I don't want to be commercial, but that's a Weber and Hart. Uh, I shouldn't mention. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's a good indication of character. Uh, well, Mr. Eldridge, thank you very much. Yes. Mr. Eldridge, I think they've had a close enough look. You come on over here and sit down thank beside you. me, will you, for a minute? Now, I'll tell you what we do at this point. On the basis of your handwriting, what you've said, how you said it, and this close look they've had at you, why... Um, we let the panel have one free, wild, and happy guess as to what your line may be. And we'll begin the wild guesses as usual with Miss Kilgallen. Well, I, I think that he's uh, Santa Claus in the Macy Parade. He Santa Claus jolly. in the Macy Parade. Uh, Mr. Rundmeyer. Mr. Eldridge of Elgin is a retired Waltham watchmaker. A retired ah. Waltham watchmaker. Miss <laughs> Francis? I think it's possible that he's a wig maker. A wig maker. <laughs> no, I've got mine on. I'm all right tonight. Mr. Block? Uh, he looks like a co-pilot on a flying saucer. A co-pilot? No, I'm afraid not. Will you come in a bit closer here? Uh, if you will, Mr. Eldridge. <clears throat> Your answers are all wrong. Now we're going to let the folks at home, the viewers, have a really close look at Mr. Eldridge. At the same time, we will let them know what his line is. But, panel, I'm afraid that uh, you will have to dig for your facts. Uh, we know what the rules are. You will be allowed, in turn, to ask questions which will be answered yes or no. Each no answer costs the panel $5. We keep the record of it I'll right up here. <laughs> and 10 no's, and you've lost the game. Now, we'll give you one more bit of help. Mr. Eldridge is salaried, and we'll begin the general questions with Miss Francis. Uh, Mr. Eldridge, your salary, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Uh, do you uh, work, do you deal in commodities? No, sir. Did you say yes? No, no he said no. Haven't That's one down and nine to go. And Mr. Eldridge is five dollars richer already. And Mr. Block, you're on the block. Uh, do, you, uh, do you deal in services? Yes, sir. You deal in services. I sell and sir. Do, do your services help the, pe the people of who you're connected with? <laughs> yes, I believe they do. I 
I would, I would say they did, Mr. Blackwell. What type of a laugh is that? Well, you have got to figure it out. You would deal with a special group of people, a special clientele. <laughs> Uh, in the general sense of the special clientele, yes. Well, are they happier as a result of your work? <laughs> uh, would not answer that. I guess they're happier, yes. <laughs> we'll say yes, Mr. Lockwood. Don't be misled. I you think they could easily be not happy? Uh, well, it's very hard. His employers are undoubtedly very, very happy, and uh, he makes other people happy by the functioning. A real that happy he... fellow. Yes. Well, look, uh, would you like You'll to give pass? advice to your clients? <laughs> uh, in a forceful way, yeah, I would say yes. Well, am I the type of person that would come to you? <laughs> that is a real dirty laugh. <laughs> and the answer is also no, and that is two down, and there she goes, Mr. Gallant, you're on the block. Uh, Mr. Eldridge, uh, are your uh, clients or the people with whom you come in contact in your work and uh, upon whom you purvey your services, are they people, that is, rather than animals or anything like that? Uh, well, no, they're, they're not people rather they're than not animals, people. so the answer would have to be no, and that's three down and seven to go, but some very valuable information gleaned. Mr. Rundemeyer, it's up to you. Thank you. A consultation, please. Uh, you yes, may have 30 uh, seconds for a consultation. I will gather, I think clients now will serve the purpose and definitely not people that do that line. Yes. If not I animals. may. No, they, they, yeah. I've got, a, I've, got, I've got a hunch, yes. He's not an animal. Yes. Is, is what is the do you mean he's not an animal? <laughs> is the male animal over, or do you want to go on with it? You want to go question like Mr. Rademeyer, the block's all yours. Uh, your clients, uh, you guide them? Yes. Uh, in a sense, you also... Uh, Tend to their wants, things, clothe them, for instance? Well, yes. You do. All right. Uh, do they get angry, or is their bark worse than their bite? Uh, their bark is... Well, may I withdraw that, may I say, do you deal directly, physically with them? Yes. Are they animals? Are you an animal trainer? Yes, he is. Very good. Oh, congratulations, oh, Well, I must say that even I want to congratulate you. You did a very good job. Uh, May I say something? Yes, please do, Mr. Block. I Blatt. think as an animal trainer, are you with Ringling Brothers? Brother, I, I was just going to say that. Oh. Uh, Mr. Eldridge, who has won $15 and been a very well, good guest for us. he should be on What's My Lion. <laughs> oh, my, that's bad. But he has been good enough to come down from Madison Square Garden and the Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus, where he trains chimpanzees. You're next, Mr. Block. So thank you very much for being our guest, Mr. Eldridge, on What's My Line. Good night. Well, panel, you did very well on that, I must say. And now it's time for you to face a second challenger. So will you sign in, please, miss? June... June Harbor and spring only around the corner. Isn't that nice? <laughs> well, Miss, it is uh, Miss Harbor, is it? Where do you live? On Long Island. Long Island, that's practically New York. Practically. practically New York. Well, now, there is the panel that you're going to have to face. As you see, nothing to be afraid of. Want nothing bet? afraid of, nothing at all. <laughs> well, now, what we do here is let them have a closer look at you. So would you walk by the panel? Any reasonable demands they make, why, you meet them. Miss Harbor? I knew you'd call her back. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is June Harbor? Do you live near Veronica Lake? <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, uh, no. May but I anyway, ask a question? Oh, excuse me, go ahead, Hal. I just thought you might be an actress. Would you do some emotions for us in pantomime? Emotions? Yes. For instance, would you, show, would you face the audience, please? Yes. Would you show uh, fear? Very good. Pretty bright. You should have been looking at him. You'd have been looking at the door even better. <laughs> all right, that's very good. If you would like to try. No, Mr. I, 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 oh, all I want to do, may I whistle? Go ahead. I, I, I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, may I ask you what Pretend perfume you're war. wearing, Miss Harper? Are you wearing identify? No, I can't, but it's lovely. What is it? Well, Miss Harper, I think they've had enough of you over there. Come over here and sit down next to me. They've had a very close look at you. And now, on the basis of your handwriting, what you said, how you said it, your emoting, acting, what your perfume smelled like, 
Uh, we let them have one free, wild, and happy guess as to what your line may be, and we'll begin the free guesses as usual with Miss Kilgallen. Well, of course, she's very relaxed and she's very pretty, so she should be a powers model or an actress, but I suppose that means that she's a researcher in atomic energy. Uh, Mr. Ademeyer. I'll go along with the atomic energy. You go along with the atomic energy. <laughs> Miss Francis. I think she works in some sort of an information booth capacity. Mr. Block. I would like to be in that information booth with her. Well, I think that's an interesting comment, one I agree with entirely, but we had no right answers, so now we will let our viewers at home have a really close look at Miss Harbour. Meanwhile, they will find out what her line is. Oh. And also, you will have to dig for facts as usual. You know the rules. You can ask questions in turn. They will be answered yes or no. Each no answer costs the panel $5. We keep the record up here. I'll give you one more bit of help. Miss Harbour is salaried, and we'll begin the general questioning with Miss Francis. Uh... Your salary. Do you work, uh, uh, do you deal in services, Miss Harbour? Yes, I do. Uh, do you work for a large organization? Oh. No. One down and nine to go. I think that's a fair statement. As we understand large organizations, that's you right. do not work no. for a large organization. Mr. Block. Uh, in your work, do you help people? Oh, yes. You do. Try to. Do you, uh, do you go out to them to help them? You want to make that as a flat question? You mean no, every time? Not that you say it that way. No. Well, <laughs> would you like to rephrase the question? I am in a rephrasing mood. Good. Do you uh, sometimes go out? No, I think we can... No, no. Yes, we can let a yes question. Yes, you're answer. wearing a special outfit in what you do. No. That's two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, would you say that you were not in the arts? In other words, you were not on the stage or a writer... Yes, I would say yes, you'd say yes say. to that. In, in that concept, that she's not an artist or a writer or... Are in you the in any of world. the professions? Uh, doctor, lawyer, architect... Uh, merchant chief. Merchant... Well, no, not merchant. That would be business. <laughs> are you in a profession? Yes. And you're in a profession that helps people? Yes. Uh, do you consider your uh, patients, or would I say... Uh, Clients, do you use the word clients in connection with your yes. people who come to you? Yes. And they do, uh, yes. You're looking at a new client. All right, you can have 20 seconds for a conference. Uh, I noticed it's a little unfair, but the audience sort of went, oh, when you got to law. But they didn't expect, you see. Yes, but I think we ought to stick a little close to that for a minute. Um, do you deal with books and papers? Yes. Are you a lawyer? Yes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, I think very, very well tonight. Uh, Miss Harbour only won ten dollars, but I do hope she had a lot of fun. And thanks very much for being our guest cases. on What's My Line tonight. <laughs> I was rather hoping. Well, okay, well, you've done very, very well with the first two challenges tonight. I think probably it's time for a change of pace. But before we meet our mystery guest for this evening, here's a problem for you viewers. We come to the regular special feature of our show, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. And because our uh, panel of experts would recognize our guests on site, we've provided them with blindfolds for this special test in personality identification. So get on the blindfolds there, panel. Get them on. In this particular case, it's not so much what's my line as who is it. A challenge once again to the ingenuity and perceptive talents of our panel. Okay, are all the blindfolds adjusted? Yes, sir. All set, Miss Kilgallen? Mm -hmm. Will you come in, Mystery Challenger, and sign in, please? Panel, the blindfolds are nice and tight. Will you sign in right there, please, Mystery Challenger? What a lovely handwriting. X, <laughs> Y, Q. I'm being very helpful, aren't I? Oh, yes, oh, Z, D, V, K. Must be a long name. One, seven, two, six, five. Sounds like an atomic formula from here. So it sounds a security number. So, John, may I say something? Well, that's fine. We've got it all on there now. <laughs> now, uh, members of the panel, as you know, we dispense with most of the formalities when we get our famous guest challenger before you. So we'll go right to the general questioning and see what you can do about finding out who is it, rather than what's my line, and we'll begin the general questions with Mr. Block, who seems to be eager to get started. Well, I just wanted to give a little help to my co-panelists. 
But I don't know who it is, but whoever it is, I'll bet it isn't O'Dwyer because he's probably back in Florida. <laughs> well, now you suppose you begin the general questioning, Mr. Bluff. Well, are you, uh, are you a big celebrity? No. Are you living or dead? <laughs> no, actually, are you, uh, are you or have you been in, uh, in theater work or in pictures? No, not quite. You Ooh. haven't been in pictures? <laughs> Well, is that yes or no, then? Well, that, I think, will have to be a no, but it's an important clue. Has she ever been in fiction? No, that, well, we'll have to accept our challenger's answer. That's one down and nine to go, and uh, Miss Kilgallen, so you go. I don't understand that answer, John. I can't base any of my questions on it. Has she been in the movies or hasn't she? Or well, I she think what it tends to suggest is there is a close relationship to movies, but not actual appearance in them. Is that right, guest three challenger? You have been in them. So we will now take back if Mr. Block wants to go on the walk. Our, our guest challenge says she has, has been in them. So you go on, Mr. Block. Are you, uh, are you a glamour girl? <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll have to let the answer yes said there. So go on, Mr. Block. Are you the type of girl that I'd like to be caught with in a rumble seat sometimes? <laughs> Well, let's go. Uh, were you in... Are you, are you presently in the acting profession? No. One down. Sounds like ready to go. go. Now we'll move on to Miss Kilgallen. Go ahead, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, are you presently working at anything? Yes. Uh, well, this may seem like a very strange... Has it been established that this person is female? Uh, I <laughs> Did you say yes, John? I can't see the hero yes. when I can't I see. So. You mean there's a doubt? No, 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 no. Uh, yes. think so. Well, are you at present employed as an entertainer? Not exactly. But I, I think we can accept the answer, yes. And now I think that you've had a tough enough time, so we'll ask our famous guest celebrity not to disguise her voice anymore and go on from there. Sounds a little like that. Uh, we'll take a yes answer to that, Miss <laughs> Kilgallen. You go ahead with the question. She is presently in, uh, engaged in entertainment. Um, are you uh, at present appearing anywhere in New York City? You mean professionally? Yes, professionally. How would you answer that? Sometimes. <laughs> That's the undisguised voice? No, that isn't it. We're not. <laughs> undisguised voice. <laughs> I think we'll have to take a no answer on that, since I think by the question you meant professionally, uh, now appearing in a theater or a nightclub or something like that. So we'll say a no answer to that, and Mr. Undermeyer, you're next. God bless you, Louis. Uh, I am going to do something very skillful. I'm passing the ball to Miss Francis. <laughs> All right, Miss Francis, you're next. Uh, the voice sounds as though it belongs to a very small uh, uh, person. Uh, are you... Uh, uh, are you an entertainer on, perhaps, television? I think that can be answered yes on occasion. Wouldn't you say so? Yes. Oh! No. <laughs> Whoever it is... I want, I want my time again. Go ahead, Miss Francis. Whoever it is has just aged about 20 years. <laughs> uh, are you, of course, you must be a comedian. Comedian. <laughs> Oh, well, I've occasionally thought I was. Oh, I want oh. that voice. I know that voice. Oh. Hey, let me take it. All right, I'll call you. Hey, I think 15 I... seconds for a conference. Conference. 15 a seconds. Ask if she coaches actors and actresses. Like Constance Collier? Yes, yes, like Constance Collier. All right, the Do you feel anything, Hal? Uh, oh, yeah. I'll pass yeah. to you, then, while you work on it. All right, Mr. Block. Do you deal in services? What? Do you... <laughs> uh, yes, I would say so. Do the things you do make people happier? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Uh, are you behind the scenes in a, uh, talk again. What did you just say? <laughs> say the same sentence. I yes. hope so. Gee, I know that voice. <laughs> uh, come on, panel, you have spent a lot of time. I'll have to let it go by default okay. pretty soon. Well, get uh, something, Cal. All right, you, I'll pass it. Miss Kilgallen. Right. You know we have Are you a character woman? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> <laughs> Are right, you we'll constantly yes. tired? You decided it. Listen, let's get... She's hey, decidedly Constance Collier, did she say? No. No, uh, but let's, well, let's go into what we have. She may write uh, something, anything. I don't You'll recognize her. Well, I'm not a character woman. Ask her if she writes. I don't recognize her voice. All right, I, I don't recognize Mr. Daly, may I have the floor? Miss Francis, you have the floor. May I ask you if you are associated in the writing profession in any way? No, not now. 
Not now. You never have been, huh? I get a no oh, one. Yes. Sometimes. Well, you get a no oh, there, wait, but, wait but uh, that is as of I the think present. You know who I think it is? Uh, 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 you have the column in the post. Uh, oh, Elsa Maxwell. Elsa And now, panel, you've had to rest. It's time for you to meet another challenger. So, will you sign in, please, sir? Walter. Walter Seidel. Well, Mr. Seidel, thank you very much. Tell us where you live. Yes, I live. I live in Canarsie, which is part of Brooklyn. Canarsie, which is part of Brooklyn. <laughs> Fine. Well, you people from Brooklyn are noted for your courage, so we now give the panel a chance to get a closer look at you. They'll have to move fast. We have only four minutes to go. Will you walk down by them? Any reasonable request they make, you'll meet them. Would you turn to the audience and say, rubber buggy bumpers three times real fast? Roger Bobby Bumpers, Roger Bobby Bumpers, Roger Bobby Bumpers. Well, he's not an actor. <laughs> Will you pantomime a uh, uh, jumping rope for me? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. All right, I think we'll go to Mr. Seidel. If That's you come over here and sit down next to me, please, we'll get along with uh, uh -huh. the task at hand. Now, on the basis of your handwriting, what you've said, how you said it, how you skipped rope, and the close look that they've had at you, we give the panel a uh, chance to take one free wild guess. Miss Kilgallen, you are first as usual. He's a Dodgers rooter. A Dodgers rooter. That probably is true. Mr. Undermeyer? He is not a chorus boy in Kiss Me Kate. He's not a chorus boy. <laughs> Miss Francis? Uh, he's a sportsman of some kind. I've got to make up my mind about it, though. Mr. Block? He's a pimento stopper in a martini pack. A pimento <laughs> stopper in a martini. No, I'm afraid you're right. And now we're going to let the people, or rather you're wrong, we're going to let our viewers at home get a closer look at Mr. Seidel. And at the same time, they will find out what his line is. The, uh, the panel will have to do as usual. You ask questions in turn, get the answer yes or no. Each no answer costs you $5. We keep the record up here. You have only about two and a half minutes to find out what Mr. Seidel does. We'll tell you that he's salaried and begin the general questioning with Mr. Undermeyer. He's not another animal trainer, is he's he? He's not another animal trainer. Uh, that was a waste question. That was a waste <laughs> question. You are now on the block, Mr. Undermeyer. Uh, Mr. Seidel is connected, let us say, with one of the sports. Yes and yes? No. 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 One down and nine to go. Miss Francis. Uh, do you work uh, outdoors, Mr. Seidel? Yes, and yes. Oh, that, he, he is implying that he can also work indoors. That's he can right. work both in or out of doors. That's right. Uh, do, you, uh, uh, do you deal in services, Mr. Seidel? Yes. Uh, do you have anything to do with uh, the, the training field? No. Or teaching? No. That's nope. two down and eight to go, Mr. Block. We have about a minute and 40 seconds for you. Uh, do you... Uh, Help people. Yes. Do you do you go to their homes? Yes. Uh, are you a white collar worker? No. That's three thousand <laughs> seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you uh, wear any particular type of dress which is unlike what you're wearing now when you yes, do this? Yes, I wear a uniform. Uh, oh. Is it uh, white? No. <laughs> That's four down and six to go, Mr. Underby. Is it blue? Bluish. Is it sort of blue? It is. Uh, is it blue, definitely blue? Yes, yes. And liable to get bluer as time goes on. Go on, Mr. Adamant. Is it overall? Yes. I would say coverall. Coverall. Coveralls. And you've got about 45 uh, seconds, Mr. Adamant. Pass it to me. Pass it to you. Miss uh, Francis? Uh, do you work uh, uh, on cleaning in your job? It's a cleaning service of yes, some kind? Yes, it is. Uh, do you work, you said you work both inside and outside. That means you can work with the house, huh? No conference. Uh, do you have anything to do with uh, cleaning out furnaces, something like that? Yes, uh, a, a, Is it a, that? A chimney sweep or something? All right. <laughs> That's my line tonight. And, panel, I must say that you did a grand job on that. That was a tough one, and you moved in and went very rapidly and uh, turned out a very creditable record. In fact, you've done well all the way around tonight. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you a preview look at a picture of one of the challengers whose line our panel will be asked to spot in our next program. But first, see if you can spot this person's line. 
takes from, from tonight at this same time, our panel of experts will be asked, what's my line by this man? Would you know what he does for a living? Could you spot his line? Well, for the answer to this and other personality puzzles, be sure and tune in again two weeks from tonight at the same time when once again, Stop at invites you to play What's My Line. Until then, this is John Daly saying good night, Dorothy. Good night, Louis. Good night, Arlene. Good night, Hal. Good night, John. And good night, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line. What's My Line has been produced by CBS in association with Mark Ritson, Bill Hartman Productions. Produced for television by Gil Pates and directed by Franklin Heller. Remember to tune in two weeks from tonight for What's My Line and next Wednesday night for Tony Twin Times. This is CBS. The